I'm not sure our previous matchup or match this season is relevant for tomorrow. Um, they've added some new players. Um, there's been a coaching change, a slight change in style, although I do see some of the general uh, principles, habits, and behaviors uh, that the players had under Bradley Carnell are still there um, with some subtle differences. I think in general, if I could sum it up in two sentences, I think uh, offensively a little more effective. Um, and uh, with a little more quality in the offensive end, but uh, defensively uh, maybe less effective and uh, a tad bit more vulnerable. So I think having that said, our, you know, our match plan is, is uh, to, be, to find the right balance uh, in both areas of the field, making sure that we don't give up any easy ones and uh, also be able to hurt them at the same time on the other end. So we'll go to questions here with Dave and then we'll go to Josh on Zoom. Steve, it would seem that German football has a an influence on St. Louis City pretty heavily from the top onto the pitch, even with the signings, as you mentioned. Is that how you see it as you watch this team? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And how does that play out in MLS, in a sense, that style or that kind of influence? That well, I think things that I've learned in Germany, um, and we'll see if it, it, it comes to play in St. Louis, but things that I've learned has, is to become um, you know, effective. Um, on both ends of the uh, of the pitch, I think uh, games are won and lost in the boxes, and um, neutralizing your opponent in the other areas, and understanding tactics, and and staying tactically disciplined for 90 minutes allows you to be effective in certain moments. Um, and those are those are traits and qualities that are not exclusive to the Bundesliga or German players, but are, are certainly uh, important ones in in Germany. And Marcel Hartl obviously had a lot of success. In Bundesliga 2 with St. Pauli stats all that stuff but also influence how do you see his game adapting with St. Louis so far yeah I think he's, he's exactly how I just described an offensive uh, German player if you want to generalize which you cannot Marcel is is his own player and his own personality his own character um, but certainly somebody you can't disregard and leave alone uh, he will find solutions um, and he will hurt you uh, whether it's a pass a darting run, a finish from outside the box, set piece. Um, he has those qualities, if given time and space, to finish plays. Thank you. I'm going to zoom with Josh. Go ahead. Thanks, Alonzo. Um, Steve, St. Louis was eliminated in uh, three of your next four, last four of the regular season. There are opponents who, who won't make the playoffs. When you face those kind of teams, does that bring in any kind of uh, different sort of test or challenge? Uh, you know, maybe they haven't been performing great, but. Uh, you know, some uncertainty considering where they are? You know, Josh, I, I, I get the question. I just, I think I think those teams are better equipped to answer than I am. Um, I think we'll prepare for the best St. Louis city as possible. And that's all we can do. And they are a team that can score goals. They have been a team of recent who start early um, and put pressure on teams early. They can hit you in behind. They can, they can win on second balls. They can win, um, they can, create chances, uh, whether that's combination played through the middle, it's been recently shown, or through crosses. So, um, you know, offensively, they're quite well-rounded and, and can beat you in many different ways. Uh, we have, will have solutions for that. Um, so I think for us, it's expecting the best uh, St. Louis uh, is the best way to, to go about this game, and then the game's following them as well. Um, for uh, Olivier Giroud, he has celebrated his 38th birthday yesterday. Was there anything special with the training center for him? Do you guys do anything for him? We said happy birthday. Uh, we try to keep things, uh, unless it's a round birthday or a bigger occasion, we try to keep things pretty pretty calm around here. Uh, hopefully his, his family uh, celebrated with him uh, with a lot of love and uh, laughter and good food and maybe a glass of wine. And lastly, for me, on, on Olivier and Kai, how have you seen their dynamic? Um, they work together a lot. Obviously, you see them in training, after training. They're, they're always kind of pushing each other. They both said that. How do you see that dynamic is, is helping them or spurring them on here the last part of the season? Yeah, I think um, sharing the load is important, um, you know, um, and understanding that the nine at LAFC needs to be productive, and, and both are, and that's important.